You know, when you move to bigger and busier airports, the runways are not the only thing that gets more complicated. The ramp at a busy airport can be a very complex place. Airplanes will be coming and going, and often pedestrians will be coming and going. Worse yet, you can't see people who are walking behind you. One time, when Martha and I were starting up our old Falcon 10, folks from another aircraft that we couldn't see were walking behind us with catering trays of food. Well, when we started our first engine, their trays got blown all over the ramp. It became a threat on social media, accusing us of being callous and unkind because this happened. Well, we may actually be callous and unkind, but it is a marshalless job to keep that kind of thing and worse from happening. And that's one of the reasons you want to use an aircraft marshaller. They'll look out for that and a whole lot more. So, exactly what does a marshaller do? And how can they help us? Well, during startup and departure, they are helping you manage risks, including the risk of the absolute tragedy of having a pedestrian on the ramp be seriously injured or even killed by walking into your path as you start moving. Also on departure, a thoughtful marshaller can keep you from blowing into a hangar where maintenance work is taking place. And that same thoughtful marshaller can keep you from having a face-to-face -face meeting with another aircraft coming into or out of the ramp. On arrival, a thoughtful marshaller will direct you to parking that is appropriate for your aircraft. They'll be thinking ahead about the wind direction for your startup and the convenience of the FBO office for your passengers. And they'll make a safe and efficient path for you on departure. It doesn't matter if you're flying a turboprop or a jet or even a piston single. Using a marshaller can make your arrival on departure safer, more stress-free, and more efficient. You know, with so many good things coming from using a marshaller, why wouldn't you use one? Well, one reason might be that you don't really understand the hand signals and you feel self-conscious as if the marshaller would be evaluating you and might disapprove of you. Another reason people don't use marshallers is that they feel rushed when they use one. Or you might feel sorry for the marshaller waiting in the heat or the cold or even in the snow or heavy rain while you go through your procedures and checklists. But when you understand the purpose of the marshaller and know the signals, you'll feel confident using them and remind yourself that this is their job and they're supposed to be watching you and the environment around you very attentively and remind yourself that it's your job to take care of the aircraft to ensure that you can park safely that you can start safely and that your aircraft is ready for flight so don't let yourself get distracted from that responsibility now that we see that marshallers are key to safe maneuvering on busy ramps Let's learn more about them. You'll recognize them because they often wear high visibility reflective vests. And at night, they often carry fluorescent wands that light up. And if you find the signals a marshaller uses are hard to understand, it's helpful to know that marshallers use a kind of standardized sign language to communicate with pilots. By the time you finish this course, we want to make sure that you can understand the signals they give you and the signals you need to give them, since we all need to be speaking the same language. So now let's you and I take a look at what you need to know to maneuver on the ramp safely and confidently with the help of a marshaller.